Hall to win a crown in Barbados. Hall to win a crown in Barbados. I asked the young Adrian Clark, he said, like Baron Sweet was in part. I'm a Bajan, so one day a rule can't enter. See this melody, tell it so needs our voices to sing. Don't say bow sheep. Serious topics we have to bring. Calypsonians must be strong. Come now, put that in your song. Bell Society, forget who the hell does we judge and we. Dress like a king. Sing like a king. A king don't dance. He keeps pressing on to win a crown. This year, hear what I say, Jazzy, when the crowd is here. Kaiso, thank you. Prime Minister Frendel Stewart wants the tourism product diversified. The High Court hears the Maria Agard case. And in sports, Sunil Narayan has been cleared to bowl in the IPL. Credible. Balanced. Committed. This is the CBC Evening News. Good evening, I'm Lisa Broom with the CBC Evening News. In our top story tonight, the Ministry of Tourism is continuing to diversify Barbados's tourism product. This from Prime Minister Frendel Stewart as he spoke at the final reception of 2016 for repeat visitors held at Ilara Court. The Prime Minister believes without diversifying the country's product offerings, Barbados will become less attractive to visitors. He says one area of the tourism product that is being developed is local heritage, led by Senator Sir Henry Fraser. Senator, Senator Sir Henry Fraser uh, continues to give his all to Barbados in this area because he understands the importance, too, of our diversifying our product offerings to appeal to a wider range of visitors and to attract uh, additional people here to Barbados. And that is only one area in which we are trying to develop our product. Uh, we, we, there, there are many other areas. There is medical tourism that we are looking at as well. And our efforts continue. Mr. Stewart went on to add that Barbadian hospitality is the foundation of this country's tourism. He says without it, people will not visit the island. If the charm of manner and the warmth of hospitality of ordinary men and women who do the trivial rungs and the common tasks from day to day in Barbados, if that charm of manner and warmth of hospitality are not evident, then our visitors are not going to continue to come. So we continue to impress on our population the importance of this industry, and that is why we chant resonantly the mantra, tourism is our business and we must all play our part. Barbados is among the top three destinations where tourists are least likely to become caught up in a natural disaster. 
The country is at position number three. Qatar tops the 2015 World Risk Report of the United Nations University for Environment and Human Security, and that's followed by Malta. Other destinations in the top 10 safest list include Saudi Arabia, Grenada, Iceland, Kiribati, Bahrain, the United Arab Emirates, and Sweden. These are the countries deemed to be least at risk from storms and earthquakes. 173 countries were studied for the risk assessment. The top 10 least safe list includes Vanuatu, Tonga, the Philippines, Guatemala, Bangladesh, the Solomon Islands, Costa Rica, Cambodia, El Salvador, and East Timor. It's up, now up to presiding judge Olson Aline to rule on the case involving former Barbados Labour Party and now independent Christchurch West MP Dr. Maria Agard, who is challenging her expulsion from the opposition BLP. Dr. Agard was expelled last November. The two sides in the civil suit met again in the Supreme Court No. 11 for close to five hours earlier today. Those present included Dr. Agard and her legal team, along with opposition leader Mia Motley, BLP General Secretary Jerome Walcott, and their legal team. BLP lawyer Leslie Haynes outlined to the press what the arguments his side covered. Whether the form and the manner by which the claimant, Ms. Agard, came before the courts is the correct one. Okay. That's all it was about. Queen's Counsel Hal Gollop, one of the lawyers for Dr. Agard, stated judgment has been reserved in the civil suit brought against the BLP. They were, yeah, they were waiting the judge's decision. The decision has been reserved, so there can be no developments really. <laughs> Certainly not legal developments. Well, Dr. Agard maintains her position on her dismissal from the BLP. I have taken a position. I guess so. I have taken a position no, on principle, much. and I shall be resolute until the court uh -huh. makes a final decision. So for me, it's not about feelings, then, it's not about how so I felt the proceedings went or anything like that. I'm standing on principle until a decision okay. has been made by the court. Well, in a more recent development, former Christchurch West MP, Dr. William Dugid, was last week nominated as the BLP's candidate for the constituency in the next general election. More than 300 Nissan vehicles are being recalled by local dealer Courtesy Garage Limited due to an issue with the airbags. Confirmation of this from the company's service manager, Cavour Morris, who says the problem relates to a faulty passenger side airbag inflator. He says the models affected are the Frontier, Almera and Wing Roads, manufactured between 2005 and 2010. Mr. Morris explains that Courtesy is now in the process of reaching out to its customers. We are trying to contact the customers to see if they still have the vehicles based on the records that we have at Courtesy. And once we can find them and make contact with them, then we will make special arrangements to have them bring in their vehicles. We'll get the parts in and we'll change it. The actual changing of the part will probably take about two to three hours. This is being done, although all of the vehicles are outside of their warranty period. But Nissan still found it important to change these deflators on the passenger airbags on the vehicles. Do not postpone your university education. That advice from Principal and Pro Vice Chancellor of the University of the West Indies, Cave Hill, Professor Eudeen Barato. She's telling Barbadians who may be considering enrolling at UE Cave Hill that although the funding model for higher education has changed, you, the university has devised a range of support services to assist. She told those gathered for the 2016 Student Awards Ceremony that they include payment plans and financial aid packages. Professor Barato says UE wants to see as many people as possible obtain a university degree. Meanwhile, campus registrar Kenneth Walters saluted the work of the director and staff of the Office of Student Services. According to him, that office offers a number of programs designed to encourage the development of well-rounded citizens. These include the mentorship program which allows students to gain practical knowledge by the face of the professionals in a variety of fields. There's a vision and fortitude program which seeks to empower students to become more civic-minded individuals through the development of life skills and the curriculum programs which are designed to supplement the academic programs on the campus. These courses are offered in the areas of sports, 
athletics, basketball, cricket, football, netball, volleyball, leadership and service, HIV AIDS, peer education and response, dance, theater, photography, film, and alcohol and drug abuse counseling. Police have arrested and charged 71-year-old Winston Blackett of Halls Road, Rot Dundo, St. James, with causing death by dangerous driving. It's in connection with the death of motorcyclist Irvin Noel. He died at the scene of an accident on March 13th on Upper Carlton Road, a section of the Ronald Knapp Highway. Blackett appeared at the Hotel Magistrates Court yesterday and was granted $10,000 bail with one surety. He is to reappear in court on July 29th. Well, five men, including four police officers, were taken to the Queen Elizabeth Hospital for treatment. And this after they were involved in an accident at Kendall in St. John around a quarter to ten last night. According to reports, the four officers were slightly injured when the vehicle in which they were traveling collided with a tree during the chase. The suspect, a male, broke his right leg after his vehicle crashed into the same tree. The suspect and two of the policemen were taken to the hospital by ambulances, while the two remaining injured officers were taken to hospital by police vehicles. And an accident just outside the Blackman and Gollop School in Christchurch has left a policeman and two Defence Force personnel nursing injuries. The incident occurred just before four this afternoon. Eyewitness Leroy Johnson says he was standing in the schoolyard when the vehicle passed. That's it, you got to your bike, eh? And then drove up on the side, skin up in the air, drop back down, and the men crying for the shoulder and blood all about the place. Well, Barbadians have been sharing their thoughts on how the country should honour local heroes and West Indies cricketers Haley Matthews and Carlos Brathwaite. This follows their star performances in Sunday's ICC World Cup T20 finals in both the men's and women's teams. Lisa Lord has more. Barbadian all-rounder Carlos Brathwaite struck four massive consecutive sixes in the last over to give the West Indies men another World Cup T20 title. And Barbadians are still brimming with pride over his performance. They want him properly rewarded for his match-winning effort that was felt not only here, but around the world. I still got the vibes, serious. still got your vibes, Yes, I had a drunk right here. Drunk. So yeah. everybody was here watching the game? Yes, we do the dog here. No. No, I, know, I didn't get over it yet. I can't even explain to tell what Baba should do, but I know right now, I know about myself. We're so happy, I can't, I really didn't feel like crying. Serious. And I can't tell anymore. So I go on and feel like a crying. You should have a great reward for making them 24 runs and four balls, making Barbados pro, and the whole Caribbean and the whole West Indies. I think that Carlos Buffett. He played cricket for, I was here for Canville, like tournament, take ball. A little, a little he used to play for me because I live in my area at Christchurch. I hear for he play for me, he's a good boy. And I think he should be rewarded with some land and a nice car and some good, some good, for the ambassador of Barbados. This man, affectionately known as Owl in Lamming St. Joseph, was still choking with emotion when we asked about Brathwaite's performance. They had enough credits about you don't beat people that they get to that stage where they are right now. I can't remember his name. But he always talking about West Indies gone now and this body can't get this way. But Carlos, I can't tell him what. My throat, no. I can't even talk. Passionate about it? Passionate. We're really passionate about it. How do you think that we should reward him? Well, Barbados, Barbados and the other West countries. They don't get up that arm, they don't own. Talent that she already deserved. On the women's team, Haley Matthews struck a half century to help the West Indies women win their first ever T20 World Cup. Her final knock of 66 earned her player of the match. Owl and several other Barbadians also want her to be adequately rewarded. She's a class for herself. A real, she got effort. That I already she. She let she be good in my team. My team do a perfect job too. Cause she got everything, nothing. She's a complete cricketer. The St. Lucia government has already honored two of their cricketers. The Bozerju Cricket Ground will be renamed the Darren Sami National Cricket Stadium in honor of the captain of the men's team. 
His countryman and teammate Johnson Charles will have one of the stands in that stadium bear his name and he was also awarded a plot of land. All that's left for me to do is to celebrate with the rest of the region and wish both teams a hearty congratulations. Lisa Lord, CBC News. We'll have more news just after this break, including the thoughts of a Soka Queen for this crop over. Finding the right appliances for your home can be a challenge, but at Quartz, it's not. Let's help you find your ideal appliance from our range of the world's best brands. What's more, when you shop, get a chance to experience Atlantis. Shop with Ready Finance and you pay nothing until June 2016. Another happy customer, another challenge met. What are you waiting for? Come in today. Quartz, bringing value home. Countdown to 50. I am Monster Yohun, social worker, postmaster, and teacher at the New Horizons Academy, Barbados's newest institution for alternative education. As a pro Barbadian, I believe that we must give back to our communities. So as we approach our Jubilee Year of Independence, I want to encourage you to give back. We are only 237 days away until we celebrate our 50th year of independence. Give back, Barbados. Countdown to 50. Soka Queen Alison Hines will have a stronger presence in Crop Over 2016 than in previous years. The veteran entertainer tells CBC News she is ready for the festival. She's already recorded two songs, which will be released soon. Hopefully by the beginning of May, my music should be out, so you'll be getting brand new stuff. Uh, it's a collaboration uh, with myself and Trinidad because, you know, when it comes to the Soka Queen, Caribbean Queen, I work with everybody, Bajan, Trini, Antiguan, whoever, you know, wherever the music comes from and wants this great music, that's where I'm going. So uh, these two songs were actually written by Pretty from Outer of Trinidad. He actually came second in the Soka Monarch this year. The Soka Queen also expects some local collaborations to be in the mix. I'm gonna probably record a couple of other songs um, here with uh, looking at the Red Boys and um, possibly, I think, Dangerous. I'm going to be working with Dangerous as well. So, you know, my Bajan boys, I can't, can't leave out my Bajan boys.